Hey, hey salty lifers, it's Bermudaful! Hey! Greetings, salty lifers. As you can see, we are slowly approaching the beautiful island of Bermuda. We cannot wait to show you the adventures we found and the loveliness of the island we refer to as Bermudaful Bermuda. Our first stop this trip was Shelly Bay. This was a cute little bay, just kind of tucked away, nobody there really, which was great because we had a very special moment happen. Taylor officially proposed to Shelly. Lunch. Oh, lunch. Yes, we had lunch at the White Horse Pub in St. George's, which was a really fine choice. Our server was very nice and attentive. They have a bunch of different drinks and a wide food menu. The fish and chips was my favorite, so I highly recommend it. Next stop was the Unfinished Church. This church started to be built in 1874, but due to many different circumstances, it was never finished. And now it serves as a beautiful landmark in St. George's. A short walk from the Unfinished Church, was beautiful Tobacco Bay Beach. Salty lifers, if you've never seen anything like this, oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful place I have ever seen. We've seen some pretty beautiful places, but this, let's not get run over by a car, for starters, stopping. Look. <sighs> Tobacco Bay was a cozy smaller beach in Bermuda. Actually, most beaches in Bermuda are kind of small and quaint, with the exception of Horseshoe Beach, but we'll get to that later. Tobacco Bay had a nice little area where you could buy drinks and you can rent umbrellas and chairs. And the snorkeling there was amazing. I highly recommend going and checking that out if you ever have the chance to get to Bermuda. And now we make our way to the next stop, which is the Swizzle Inn. As we're driving along, we notice many different things, one of which there's lots of mopeds. And these moped drivers, they're a little loco. Um, it appears that the people that are locals in Bermuda drive a lot more crazy than the tourists do. The tourists are way more cautious. Absolutely. It's definitely one of the scariest things to be on the road and have oncoming traffic and a scooter just zip right around you. Like it's not a thing. We almost saw a couple people get hit. I mean, the roads are not very wide in Bermuda. So definitely caution you if you go to Bermuda, definitely rent a Twizy or one of the other electric vehicles that they have. Don't rent a moped scooter type thing. If you do get the insurance on the cruise ship, for real because those things are scary if you haven't noticed you drive on the wrong side of the road in bermuda now on your way to anywhere in bermuda you get to pass some really amazing things so like you've kind of seen on our drive um, now right now we're passing the airport so just don't mind all the construction because they're upgrading some things <laughs> it's an airport that's what they do exactly all airports all construction all the time so but as we go by, there were a couple really neat sites in Bermuda. Number one, I thought that was cool, was the world's smallest drawbridge. Um, it's in Bermuda. It's it, very tiny. It is. <laughs> I wish we could have seen it operate. But you, you blinked and you missed it. Exactly. All right. Well, I think we're almost here. Oh, got to back up first because I missed the turn. Oh, all right. Well, I think we're about to pull in. Let's get some swizzles. Mmm, yes. The Swizzle Inn is Bermuda's oldest and certainly most famous pub. Established in 1932 in a 17th century roadhouse, the Swizzle, as locals call it, is home to Bermuda's national rum drink, the Rum Swizzle. This potent rum and fruit juice cocktail is legendary for making the locals loco and the tourists tipsy.
Hey Salty Lifers, here we are at Horseshoe Bay in Bermuda. my hat around here. But I um, wanted to show you this is the beach that's supposed to have pink sand, so hopefully you can kind of tell there's a pink hue to the sands. But the coolest thing about this is that you don't sink in it. So like when you walk, there's the water. When you walk, you don't sink down in it, which is really, really nice. So it makes it easy to walk, easy to stroll along the beach here. Show you this over here, this rock formation. This way. But here is the beautiful horseshoe bike. Next stop, the Botanical Gardens. Make sure you visit the Double Fantasy Sculpture. It honors John Lennon, who wrote his last songs there in Bermuda in 1980. He named the last album Double Fantasy after a flower he found strolling through the gardens. Walk through and retrace the steps of the place that inspired Lennon to name his last record after the Double Fantasy Freesia flower he found during his many walks in the gardens. And now for a beautiful sunset drive back to the dockyard. Well, all this beach in sure does make a girl hungry, so let's head to the Frog and Onion Pub. This is a British style pub set in the back of the dockyards. You can get burgers, wings, bangers and mash. It's a great time, good food, and also check out their microbrews. And after dinner, take a stroll around. Check out some of the beautiful sights in the dockyard at night. It's a very interesting place, and plus, you get to see the ship lit up. So after returning our twizzies, we caught a cab with Melo Archibald, a very interesting cat in Bermuda that took us to Seaglass Beach. Watch your step, babe. Well, this is a high step. Yeah, watch, like step watch all your steps. They're, they're not, none of them are equal. Oh, good. I'm talking Clearwater Aquarium back in Florida. Because our building used to be an old school. Nice little guy, Johnny. Oh, you guys off the wall. I got one. Oh, I thought you had the This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh. It's all smooth. The ocean from the ocean and with all the sand. All the polished. It's all polished. Not a rough edge. Wow. Like right here. That's amazing. Not a rough edge. Ooh, that's good one. I hope you were able to hear the sound of that sea glass as the waves came in and out. It was truly one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. Hope you get to check it out one day. Next stop, Bermuda Fun Golf. This was the absolutely most incredible golf course, miniature golf course that I've ever played on. It's 18 holes, six holes from Bermuda, six holes from the US, and six holes from Scotland that emulate some of the greatest in the world. Really, really cool golf course. 15 bucks to play, but it's well worth it. Next up is uh, our Calico Jacks. It's right there at Port 
It's a really cool little bar. It's actually a pirate ship turned into a bar somewhat as it says you can walk the plank and there I am walking the plank. Check it out. While in Bermuda we had to get around. So we want to take you on a tour of the Twizzy. Check it out. Good morning. And we're back at the dockyard in Bermuda. Uh, we got the Twizzy, which is the thing to rent here because you can't rent a car. You can take taxis, they're quite expensive. But we chose to do the, uh, the Twizzy. So we're back at the charging station in the dockyard, which is kind of difficult to find, but we'll, uh, we'll help you out with that too. So just, just real quick on how to charge the thing. Um, pretty simple. So you get back, put the cord in the front, take it, plug it into the Twizzy charging area. And to make sure it's charging, you need to do this because we found one yesterday that wasn't working. So it's gonna show on your display and it's showing a hundred. So that means it's fully charged because we left the charge actually last night. So now we're gonna show you the inside of it because we see a lot of question about how much can you fit in there? How many people can you fit in there? So we'll go through all that too. Let's unplug it. So boom, that's pretty simple. So. Doors open up like that. And then I'll open the other side too. Just so you can kind of see what's going on. And um, what happens is this seat goes the whole way back and the whole way up. Yeah. As the passenger to get in it with me, this is very fun. But you get in from the right side, your right side, if you're on if you're looking at the twizzy, it's your left. Right side of the twizzy. Okay, so you put your foot over here, and you kind of slide in. There you go. Like that. And the seat is as far forward as it would go right now. So you can hold your bag here if you want. That's what I did yesterday, and there'd be room like on the side since the doors are down for other bags. Probably that side is best. And then there's a seat belt for safety. So. Click it or ticket. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Um, and then getting out of the Twizzy. This for me has been the most difficult part to get used to it. So. Obviously the driver gets out first. Yep. And hopefully they push the seat forward. If they're nice. <laughs> but put your foot out, kind of climb out like that. Boom. So, by the way, I am 5'3", and that's how I fit in the back of it. Our friend cold to somewhere and um, he is actually six feet tall and he was sitting in the back yesterday so he got in in and out very easily not too well. much difficulty so anyway. we so we're leaving the alleyway where the chargers are there are the chargers it's kind of the back alleyway <laughs> a little bumpy sorry for that Ugh. <laughs> All right, so it, when you come in here, it doesn't look like you're supposed to, but it's this little area here, the frog and onion, and you're right straight that way. But you, you have people walking in here. But that's okay. This is a one-way street. And you can turn only turn right. Turn right. right. <laughs> Despite what GPS just said. It lies. Sometimes it does. Follow that van. Turn left, then turn left. And you do drive on the left side of the road in Bermuda. Turn left, then turn right. All right, to get to the Twizzy charging station, when you come down this one-way street, you're going to see this little pastry shop. Bistro here, and there is an ice cream shop the other side so you will make a right turn into here you will go I can't turn in there yes you can so you want to take that turn and nope. drive your twizzy this direction there. 
through the gate. And then you're gonna go, but where now? If there's no sign. Yep, there's no sign. This is why we're showing you. So, we're gonna take a left. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna go down this alley and think. This is not right. This is not right. But it is. What's going on with this craziness? But trust us when we say this is where you go. As you're you saw earlier, you're learning in the from video. our experience. <laughs> All right. So once you get to this corner, obviously don't go straight or turn left. Yeah. Turn right, and then there is where the Twizzies will be. So at the corner of the building, you will see the little electrical outlets. You can plug your Twizzy in and charge them up. And there's one on the other side. Yep. There's spots for where the mopeds are. Yes. Yep. There's six, six plug-ins. All right. So there we go. There is how to find the back alley Twizzy charging station. We actually told the people at current vehicles about this issue and they're supposed to put some signage up. So hopefully when you travel here or hopefully you saw our video and now you know. <laughs>forget to like and subscribe so obviously you want to have it the whole way up and it's probably easier to get it from the other side because there's no seat belt on that side oh that's true but i was driving yesterday so <laughs> i wasn't getting in that way that's not your seat belt it's not. is it your seat belt yes, it's my <laughs> we're gonna have to do this all over no we don't keep going seat belt i wasn't in the back here so i don't even know where it goes Go. It goes from the other side, Jay. Yeah. What other side? There's one on the other side. I told you that's not your seatbelt. Oh. Well, yeah. It's the driver's seatbelt. Cut. Cut this.